Michael. This is Bree's mama sitting up in here jamming. <laughs> She's a own little DJ. Oh, that's gonna be cute. I can already tell. Ah! Okay, so my husband is putting together this treadmill that used to be at our house. This is the treadmill that he so lovely got me for Mother's Day. So this was in our house and then Peloton gave us the treadmill and um, you don't need to. This is still a really, really good treadmill. There's nothing wrong with it. We ain't never had no issues with it. So we do have a Peloton account. And the classes are actually, um, I, don't, I don't know why I said actually. Everybody knows Peloton classes are good. But the treadmill classes make doing the treadmill even easier to do. Uh -uh, showing all your underwear, so sorry. They are clean, just like you. So yeah, this is inexpensive. Now where the <laughs> Mama Shea is playing water in the uh, room. So I gotta get her to do the water challenge. My mother said, now if she do it, they ain't gonna look at me that much anymore. Look at that. Get it done, baby. So, I'm back at Target. Sorry for the loud. Target just makes me happy sometimes. Um, here, this is daggone. Bump, shiny dark bump on my face. Makes me wanna rip half of my face off. I'm trying to ignore it. Anyways, I'm here with my child. Oh no. He didn't put all these clothes in the car. Me? And now. Oh, it was you. What? It was him. The, uh, the wrapper. He got clothes. Is what he told me. You got clothes for the people? They can't hear you? Oh, not right now. Anyways, in Target. About to see if I can get my hands on some of Tabitha's food. All right. So I'm leaving a restaurant called On the 30. There was a sorority get together with the um, Kappas to celebrate our new initiates. Um, so now, I'm finally gonna go pick up my son from my mom and go kick the rest of the day with my husband. And the twins, little Marcus, is in Disneyland. So, today has been full of a Delta day. You know, Delta ain't gonna maybe get me for a little bit because it's had a lot of my time here recently. Um, okay, I was so scared that my truck wasn't gonna make it up underneath this, uh, this, uh, okay, now, I came through this way. Yeah, it's so low that my big truck, I was like, oh my God. And I didn't even look to see how close it was. Let me see, I'll be able to show y'all. I was like, if I scrape the top of my truck, oh my God, you gotta see. I'm the tan truck. It's tight. It was tight, but there was more than enough room, thank God. my baby and look at who I ran into. Hi. It's Hi. my mom and Victory. Hello. Look at this three generations. Grandma, Bam. mom, daughter. <laughs> ah, say daughter. Yeah. <laughs> one day, one day, <laughs> one day we'll come out with our story about how she really is. The <laughs> fact that when she went to the young presentation, somebody was like, your angel and I was like, yes. And I thought you sent them to me. No, I, that means tell them that you were coming. 
I was like, oh hi, yes. I was like, did she think you should like know your face? That's a period. Hey baby white. Oh, <laughs> look at that. And then, look at that. And then my other sister just caught me on my phone. Portia, you naked? <laughs> oh, she will be soon. <laughs> All right, I just want to show y'all the fam. Okay, y'all What's good, family? I am uh, on my way to friend's house. Um, I had to wait to do this to start talking to y'all because it was it's been raining so hard and it was so loud. I didn't think y'all be able to hear me. Uh, but it finally got light enough to where I could actually think y'all could hear me. But anyway, I'm away to a friend's house uh, to holler at them real quick. I don't know if some of y'all noticed, uh, it was some glasses that I wore, I've been wearing lately. I wore them first time at the NAACP. One of them things that we did at NAACP, the only time I had on glasses, like it's like a light tint glasses, like sunglasses. Then I also wore them on the podcast, on our podcast. Um, that they actually came from a friend of ours. And uh, they were so dope, I'm like, I need to get another pair. And they gave me that pair, so I'm like, let me buy some. They won't let me buy them, basically. Long story short, I'm gonna barter some. So they just got another house, uh, bought another house. So I went and picked up something else for them. And that way, when I go get me another pair of glasses, I can be like, here. Even though I've already given my house for them, and this is like in exchange for the glasses since they won't let me buy them. Anyway, real quick, one thing I can't stand is irresponsible animals. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> I was, I just got back, I went back to the house, made a run earlier, went back to the house, and as I'm walking up to the front door, I see a little uh, dead uh, bunny, a little baby rabbit. It wasn't small, it was like significant size, but it was a young, like, baby rabbit. I'm like, dang, I looked at it, I said, it looked like a hawk or a Al or something must have, you know, dropped him. Didn't eat him, just killed him and dropped him and probably didn't want to pick it up because it wasn't mauled up the way a coyote or a dog or something would do it. Um, so anyway, I was telling Angel, I was like, yeah, I got to go out there and move it. So I go get a shovel, go around to the front, and as I go to scoop it up, it's not dead. It's not all the way. It's like starts trying to move and stuff. That's what pissed me off. Cause I can't just discard him the way I wanted to cause he's not dead all the way. I don't like animals being injured. So then I had to go on and finish him off. And I got so pissed off. I'm like, if you gonna kill something or attempt to kill it, at least eat it, you asshole. It had to be one of them owls. Or yeah, it had to be an owl. Cause we got more owls around there than we do hawks. Um, even though I do see a lot of hawks, but we I see even more owls. But I didn't wanna have to do that. But I did it. It needed to be done. I ain't want to just, like I said, discard him injured. But anyway, that's been my Sunday morning. That ripping and running in the rain and finishing off animals. Stupid birds. Anyway, I'll holler at y'all fam. Hello. Look at who's here. You know how bad my face looks. I was cutting shallots and it made my eyes water. So he's back from Europe. Hopefully I've edited the vlog and gotten it up. I look like a clown. How you feeling? That's pretty good. Show them your nice fresh haircut that your daddy gave you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at how thick his sideburns are. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, you can do whatever you wanted to do. And now daddy is on the last of the boys. You say hi? Okay, put your head back down. Daddy's barbershop was open today. And Mama's Kitchen is finally open. I haven't cooked all while I was on tour. Um, I decided to cook Hell Fresh meal. Cooking some shrimp. I'm adding this protein. And this is a risotto. I need to add some more water to it. Okay. So, got water. Some hot water that's been over here. Simmer. I'm gonna add some seasoning to the shrimp. Yes, I have not cooked in a very long time. So, and then the zucchini and um, tomato that I roasted. Hopefully this will taste With hatin in. Here I am, there she is. Hey! Polishing off her, probably some rose. Uh, we on our way to a uh, date night, just to kick back, chill, have some, have a good time. 
been a long week. And uh, yeah, we got two prospect places we're going to. One we're gonna see if we can get in because we might need reservations, but the other one we know we can get in at least at the bar, at the very minimum. I'm erasing some footage that y'all never saw, so sorry. It's our favorite place, Angel's currently erasing footage. Let's see if this dog needs to come in. Uh, all the boys is upstairs. They, uh, the twins lost privileges of their tablets for the weekend properly. I ain't made my mind up yet. Cause I went into their room. Uh, hold on, let this collar off his dog. Went into their room earlier today and I didn't like, their room wasn't clean. I didn't like, but I could get past that. But it was their bathroom that tipped me over the edge. And I was like, I ain't here for it. Yeah, so, they, so they lost their privilege. They said, how long? I said, I'll let y'all know. I ain't made my mind up yet. Anyway, we on our way out. Uh, real quick, y'all come over here. So our Patreon knows this, but y'all who don't aren't a part of our Patreon. What we're thinking about doing is starting back with cooking and cooking with the tank sleeves. We used to do this with our Patreon back during COVID. We're bringing that back. Is that something y'all want to see? Um, they're going to get to see it. <laughs> they're going to get to see it live. We would do an edited down version for the general public because we like to be able to also still give you all content as well. So let me know. It's going to be us trying like recipes we've never tried before. All new recipes, every rip. Let us know in the comments. That wasn't what we discussed though. We did the last meeting. That the you, last you, meeting. No, 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 no. We said, we said, listen, listen. We said we would do it. It would be strictly for Patreon and we would put uh, um, snippets of it up on uh, edited down versions on YouTube and Instagram and everything else. But we said we were going to specifically give I it to Patreon. Ask, and pa ask Kennedy about our last I'm going to ask Kennedy about it. All right, y'all. So here we are. We made it. Sure. Oh, no, 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 no. I probably got maybe two minutes total. Uh. <laughs> Um, we are headed to our favorite little restaurant in Calabasas, Kingfish House. Um, it's been months since we've been here, so. Yes. Think about when's the last time we the went. Last place we came was here, and <laughs> I don't. I know we probably came here in the new year, but it's April. We ain't been here. I'm so glad I didn't have to wear makeup. Ugh. Clean, clean. Okay. Let's get some oysters. They print a new menu every day because their fish is so fresh. We love the oysters. So usually we have them recommend one, but what we're gonna do today instead is get a shellfish platter. We're gonna get the first mate, which has all of these. A one, two of those, one stingray, one well fleet, one or two scallops. Two little neck clams, five black mussels, five shrimp, and then a wild duck in its crab. When we get the oysters, oh. go ahead. No, when we get the oysters, we usually get like two. Um, we usually end up with like twelve a piece. <laughs> ah, we ain't that bad. Six we usually have six. Yeah. yeah. Um, but then we also get a hot meal. Um, I'm probably gonna get the same. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like they could do way better with their fish preparation. Their appetizers are great, but when it comes to the actual meal, they are very, very basic on how they prepare their stuff. It's cooked, it's like temperature wise, cooked perfectly, but like I'd be wanting just a little bit more juice. But I love their soup, their um, spicy seafood chowder, smacks. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna get. Maybe the catfish. That's what I was looking at. I've never had, they have a wild Mexican yellow tail. Yeah, I don't know. Think about catfish, it has such good flavor by itself. It's hard to mess it up. But some other fish, it's just like, you got to do something. So we'll scallops. see. Baby, I know you love some scallops. I don't know, I just know I don't want anything fried. I don't know. Now we, well, I'll let you know what we decide. Typically, when we do seafood, we do not do fried. Uh, we usually do grilled, because you get more flavor. 
and uh, you, you fry anything, it's gonna taste good. It don't matter what you do to it. You throw it in some grease with some batter, kind of ruins it. But when you do, we like seafood that is grilled, and you gotta know what you're doing when you grill it. Oh, they got two new halibut. Okay, so they got two new halibut. Right. They got uh, uh, pan seared. They've got a oh, I'm so sorry, a pan seared halibut, fair gola, and the macadamia well crusted halibut. So I'll get one of those, and I'll let y'all know how it is. So this is a little next clam. A lot of bodies. <laughs> this is good, right? I already had mine. Let me show y'all how I prepare. I'm about to eat this one. They have like two different types of relish that I like. I put that on there. Sorry, it's taking forever to focus. They're like little kind of cocktail sauce. Then, so good. We have two different ones right here. Which one of those? Because they're two different. You choose which one you want. You know, I like the, I, I want the bigger one. Okay, that's all you have to say. I'm gonna take this one. Same little situation. So good. Ooh. Oh no. Shoot. God dang it. That thing was perfect. How's everything so far? Fantastic. Man. Just a little bit of hospital life. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to the clams, the shrimp, and the dungeness crab, and the scallops. Oh, actually, I'll try the scallop for y'all. That's good. Cook to pressure. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Well, I thought I was getting halibut, but they ran out, so this is the Chilean sea bass. This is done in a miso salmon glaze. Marcus has the shrimp and the scallops. The shrimp to make my lips swell up real good. Sure. Okay, and then the Brussels. Mm -hmm. They gave me the this dish for free. I, it's not what I wanted. It's gonna go good with some eggs in there. <laughs> Nah, they felt so bad because I was just gonna get a couple of uh, chowder. But I just asked him for a box because I'm not gonna eat it. Thank you. I don't mind being in front of the camera. Hi. Look, he's so great. <laughs> he's so great. But I'm gonna take it home because I don't want it. I should have asked you, do you want me to box it up for you? Oh, I would actually love that if yeah, you wouldn't you mind. Are. Thank you. Um, so, and then this is the other, I had a chin. Um, so like the best parmesan cheese and oh, the best parmesan cheese. cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like you talking about for sushi? That's <laughs> what? If you like ginger, I'll be more than having a oh, no, it's, it's, it's called the Bolivar. Yeah, like, I had a gin base drink. I can't remember the name. It was okay, but, oh, it was, I keep thinking I'm gonna remember the name, but that's not the name of it. This is what I usually order. It's really, really good. My husband thought this was ginger. It looks like ginger. Ginger has a lot more folds in it. This looks stiffer. It's Parmesan. Stinky, stinky Parmesan cheese. I'm realizing how much music needs to go over this because I'm hearing the song and I'm like, I know that's gonna pick up in the vlog. This is one of my jams, but I'm not gonna sing it because, no, cause then it's gonna be hard to cover up. But I love this song so much, oh my God, oh my God. So they're getting up to dessert to make up for the fact that they did not have my food. So we're getting the, 
um, chocolate cake. Marcus was trying to get something else, and I was like, but they messed up my meal, not your meal. It's my baked potato. I ate. I ate a significant amount of my baked no, potato. I, not a significant amount. You did. I'm getting the, uh, uh, yeah, the old fashioned chocolate cake. Um, unfortunately, the bread pudding has raisins in it. Yup. I'm not eating cheesecake. That was Marcus's suggestion. Because I would normally just go on bread pudding and take them raisins out. Right. They also have butter cake. I've had the butter cake. Chocolate cake it is. I'm trying to get used to this. I just dropped the twins off at Benihana's with a bunch of other boys. Jesus Christ. For a birthday party. And this rude valet i tried to tell him i said i'm coming right back do you understand what i'm saying no okay well you just gonna have to bring my damn car back to me yes that's why i was trying to say that i was coming right back thank you he's so rude you give me your ticket you just parked it like less than two minutes ago um let me tell you this thing about la and not having a real parking So I'm back to pick up the boys from Benihana. We were waiting out at the curb for so long because people were taking forever to get their cars. Thank you. Hello. Where are they? I gotta find my kids. I found my children. They had me a little worried because I didn't see y'all. And I have my food. <laughs> Is there plastic wear in here? Is there plastic wear? Plastic wear? Thank you. How was the party? Did you act like I had some sense? What do you do, Sai? Thank you. Oh, let me get the tea. Okay, guys. So I've been at a fundraiser or parent teacher, faculty teacher event at Cielo Winery um, for hours. Had a great time. Had amazing wine. Look at the scenery. Beautiful. El Cielo, two of the parents at the school are owners of this winery. Their rose is amazing. I met two Instagrammers that I follow, TikTokers, content creators, whatever you want to call it. I now have to get to the school to pick up my children. So I apologize that I did not show you all more. Um, but um I was having great conversation, personal conversation is really why. Um, like a personal, personal. Um, so I'll try to show you a little bit as I'm leaving. Yo, she's comedy. Come get your.